we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. It is now 333. You could be seeing 333. It could be significant for you. It says answer prayers. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. So uh, thank you for being here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. You guys are on the right path. Okay, whatever that means for you. All right, you're on the right path, especially if you're here watching this. So the first card that came out for you is forgiveness. Dun, 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 dun. I know we all don't. Nobody wants to see this card. <laughs> I mean, if it was if it was healthy, easier to hold grudges, hell, we all would. We we hold them, we hold them until the next lifetime or the next one after that. But it is not easy and it is not healthy. So for some of my Scorpios, it's about forgiveness. Either you you need to forgive someone or they need to forgive you or it could be mutual. This could be just, you know, um, letting go of the past. Okay, you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something that someone did to you, something that they didn't do. Um, I heard like maybe even absentee parent, mother or father. This is also releasing a toxic relationship with forgiveness though not just releasing it but releasing it with forgiveness understanding somebody's shortcomings understanding yours and just moving on nobody's an angel nobody's perfect you didn't show up great they didn't show up great it is what it is at this time okay this is also past life healing so maybe i don't know if you're into past life if you know what your past life was about maybe you need to heal that maybe you need to make amends to the universe to the ethers for your past life um this could even be like twin flame soulmate journey type of situation if you believe in that it says that this is a journey this is going to take some time because some people really f you over or you really f somebody else over so you're going to need to rest in prayer we talked about that okay three 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 prayers and you're gonna have to pray about this you have to spend some time in nature. You're going to have to uh, get into a, a passion project or learn how to have compassion because, you know, in the lower vibration of Scorpio, you are vengeful. Okay. That's just about, so you just got to accept that about you. And then you, when you find that that is creeping up in you, you have to kind of correct it. Like, oh no, no, no. I don't want to be vengeful. I don't want to seek vengeance. Um, uh, vengeance is the Lord's, you know, um, you want to kind of, shift that energy transmute it into something else journaling you might even need to join a support group uh a tr trauma counseling especially if you experienced it uh early in life um maybe your upbringing wasn't the best you might need to detox you know detox yourself altogether from negative thoughts you're resting in the energy of negativity other people can see it they hear it in your voice they um yeah they can feel it they definitely see it in your face. You let the first uh, thing that you say be about the past. Therefore, a thinking mind will automatically go to maybe this person is stuck in the past. So you need to shift you 
shift whatever you're you're um you're communicating to people nonverbal and verbal okay um you just need to have a more positive outlet outlet or outlook on life it's just easier to rest in negativity um of what happened to you maybe even the guilt and the shame or the regret or uh, the guilt or shame that somebody else put on you or put you in a shameful place or where you have to kind of um you know stand up for yourself or combat things uh in regards to a specific person so or a relationship so you might be a little bit um resentful in regards to where this person puts you now you have to you have to be on the defense every time um this might even you know translate into public humiliation okay somebody is publicly humiliating you with the choices that they've made uh the choices that they're making or you have to always uh explain people want to know why why you're not with that person or what happened or I don't know. So it's like you have to be on the defense here. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Okay, don't let the past hold you back. South node. So some of you are low vibrational. So it's about ascending in this life, going through your north node. Find out what, the, what your north node is. This is also like, yeah, you need to grow. Green. Green in that card too. You need to have growth. It's like you're stuck on repeat. Um, maybe because you just won't let go. You can't let go. It's hard to let go. It's easier to hang on to. It's easier to play the victim. It's easier to be overly dramatic. It's easier to act out. It's easier to um, say, well, I act this way because. And you bring up all the hurt of the past. Something about the past definitely holding you back. You're not ascending. You're not being the greatest Scorpio that you can be. Some of you are holding back uh, your true sexuality uh, due to what people will say. Um, or what people have already thought about you. Okay. Um, so yeah, you could be involved in a karmic relationship and you, and it, it's, it's played out over many lifetimes, past life. Maybe if you believe in all of that, um, you could just be kind of obsessed with a person place or thing, but definitely a person obsessed with getting it, getting them back with vengeance or you're obsessed with, making their life a living hell or you're obsessed with what they're doing because they're not doing it with you. Um, just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should just because you can, you know, make somebody's life a living hell or you can uh, show up or you can act out. It doesn't mean you should. It's, it's all about ascension, rising how, higher, higher, go high. You need to release the past though. You got a lot of cards of releasing the past, release the past. Forgive, release the past, release the past hurt. Um, move forward. Don't stay stuck. It's okay to move forward. It's okay to forgive them. It doesn't mean that what they did to you is okay, but it's like, okay, I forgive you. I'm not going to hold this anymore because it's weighing me down. It's, it's a weight around my neck. People can see it. People can sense it. People can feel it. It's tension. It causes tension in relationships moving forward whether they be romantic platonic familiar whatever business you need to trust the universe that they they're holding you they're guiding you they'll have you uh, when you cry about this when you really let it go when you really release trust the universe that they have something best for you on the other side of forgiveness you don't trust all you see is that if i let this go then they get away with i'm letting them get away with you think vengeance is yours no it's the universe trust 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 and believe okay let's see what else is going on here for Scorpio? What's happening for Scorpio? Yeah, perfect timing for romance. Oh, this is what I'm telling you. If you trust that you can have um, romance, that the perfect person will come into your life, it will happen for you. This could even be romance in regards to yourself, but you got to let go of the past, hurt, regret, remorse of the past. Somebody could be in your life right now, but they see you're still stuck in the past. They see that you're still stuck on the past person or the past hurt or what they did. They see that you have an unforgiving heart, that you can't be vengeful, that you can be spiteful, that if you get the opportunity to do, you will do. This could be somebody else too. All of this could be the reverse and you could be on the other side of the Scorpio, okay? Um, you need to get more information in regards to a love relationship. Um, why you met this person, what for, uh, all of the reasons. Though people can be karmic in our life, relationships can be karmic, whether they are romantic, platonic, business, whatever. Um, you should come out of that relationship at least having five things that you can readily cl 
communicate that you learned about yourself, that you learned a lesson. If you don't have that, if you can only talk about five things about what this narcissistic person did to me, you didn't learn nothing. And you're probably going to meet the same narcissistic person with a different face. Learn the lesson. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected. Okay. And then this one comes out in the reverse. In the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes it's enough. Maybe you didn't try. Maybe you didn't care or you didn't show your care. So um, it's not enough. Therefore, when you feel like you didn't do your best, it sticks with you. It haunts you. So something about maybe you need to, you want to make amends with somebody or you want forgiveness from this person or vice versa. They want it from you because they didn't do their best with you or you didn't do the, your best with them. I have found the one that my soul loves. So some of you feel like you, this is obsession or some of you, um, you're just obsessed with a particular person. Um, maybe they don't see things the same way. Maybe they don't want what you want, how you want it. Something is holding them back from, from making an absolute commitment to you. It could be your unforgiving heart. It could be your vengeful ways. It could be anything. I don't know. And it could be the other way around. So don't come for me. Don't come for me. All right. It could be the other way around. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. So I don't know. You could be a live wire, a hothead. Okay. Um, you can make, uh, you can just do stuff that makes it hard to bring the relationship back together. Or somebody does this in regards to you. They say things, they do things that is, it cuts so deep that yes, we still love each other after the, the argument, after the conversation, but I, damn, I don't know if I can come back to you after that. So never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Um, you may have decided to divorce, legally divorce, uh, and that's how you felt at that time. You didn't give yourself time to calm down, to think it through, okay? Yeah, you need to gain understanding before you move forward. You need to get more information about why, why something didn't work, why the magic didn't happen between you and someone else. Um, I love everything about you in reverse. Maybe somebody doesn't love everything about you um, because maybe they've seen your dark side or you've seen their dark side um, leaving you out. You want this person to bring you back in. You are bothered. Somebody is bothered, you or the other person, because someone didn't show up in the best, in their their best self with you. Um, therefore, you hunt them or the, the relationship hunts them. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to come out of separation. Okay, they want you to pick up on it, clue in on it. Can't make it up. Divorcing. Some of you divorced or you are getting a divorce. Somebody is going through a divorce. Somebody is separating. It could be a feminine. Um, you decide to divorce and maybe um, you feel like it's the wrong thing. The left bottom of my foot is itching. So it's about like the wrong journey, wrong choice. Jeez, that itch bad. Um... I don't know, maybe you like quick fire. You did something too quick, uh, permanent decision, temporary feelings. I don't know. I don't know. And it could be the other way around Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, gray hair. Somebody was stressing you out or someone could be older than you, or you dealt with something for a very long time. Um, somebody's, uh, carnality, the sex, drugs, cars, image status. That could have been you. It could have been a feminine who decided to divorce because they were dealing with something for a very long time. They didn't feel like this resonated with their soul. This was not their path. There's somebody in low vibration, carnality. They need to, you know, ascend, go higher. Um, somebody wants someone back because they're warm, even though they treated them unfair. Okay. Um, cheating while she's pregnant, coming up in the reverse. So somebody wants to stop uh, cheating in a relationship where they they really want to make it work this time. So this was like a poser. This was somebody who was posing like they're, they didn't have a solid, committed relationship. All the while, they all over town, just doing all kinds of stuff with all different people. You know, so, and it could even be that somebody was cheating while somebody was pregnant, okay? And it could have been found out. Um, let's see what else. How somebody wants the relationship back. Um, somebody stopped loving the other person, stopped giving. Um, somebody felt like it wasn't safe or safety wasn't in this relationship because somebody was cheap, cheating, creeping, can't make it up. We have to be more careful. She found our text messages or he found our text messages. Um, somebody kicked somebody out of the house. Also, somebody wants the relationship back. It's like somebody wants somebody to clue in on this. They don't really want to say it. 
someone doesn't like, I don't like your kisses, I don't like your hugs, somebody doesn't want to be close to this person, it's still, somebody's still harboring uh, regret, resentment, hatred. Could be a masculine or a feminine towards a masculine. Um, somebody's still remaining tough, hard, muscular in regards to this. Somebody feels like they are muscular, um, or they're muscular, so that ma makes them, you know, um, real tough, real macho, but they're really not. Um, maybe somebody who's uh, a masculine energy wants to come out of separation, just keep getting that over and over again. They want to come out of stalking you or studying you. They want to be up in your face. You know, they don't want to have to look at your face through a screen. Um, what else? Yeah, somebody wants the other person to stop dating um, and try to save the marriage. Can't make it up or the relationship. But there is somebody here who says, who will say anything to get what they want. So keep that in mind, Scorpio. It looks like forgiveness, forgiveness. Somebody wants to save the relationship or the marriage. The other person doesn't like that this person is dating out on the scene. Um, somebody wants to recover, recoup, but somebody needs to do some deep soul cleansing. Somebody is vengeful, you know, um, uh, they have a dark side. Uh, it shows somebody could be uh, volatile, violence, you know, like real violence. Um, you could have what you want. You could have the relationship, the romance that you want, but it's like, it doesn't come without doing the work of forgiveness, letting go of the past. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or eight by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Um, and if you're a business-minded individual, come connect with others just like you in the KTMG monthly conference call. Keep the momentum going monthly conference call where we go over valuable, uh, practical, and spiritual method to either start business, maintain, or grow your business, okay? And if you feel like you wanna connect with me one-on-one, um, go ahead and uh, schedule your, your complimentary discovery call to see if I can help you get to where you want to be in your business pursuit, okay? Uh, many blessings to you. Get your own personal reading at the website. Readings are 40% off. Um, and thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.